Hey, we're back on a 2017 Chevy Trax. This is the one we did with the blower motor issues. Um, it is now in for a check engine light. If you guys watched the first part of that blower series, there was a bunch of check engine uh, or a bunch of uh, engine codes that we were like, ah, we're not touching that right now. Well, I guess he needs an inspection and needs it fixed. So yeah, now we're doing the check engine light on this same car, 2017 Chevy Trax. Fuel trim system lean P0171, common code, and then an EVAP emission system flow during non-perch. The 1101 intake airflow performance, that's related to all three of these, I believe, are related. Some of you already have an idea where we're going. Our concern is a stuck open purge valve. And we'll go under the hood and do checks there too, but I think we can prove that this is a stuck open purge valve which would give us lean conditions, our trim code, would give us our intake airflow performance code, um, and then our flow showing purge, EVAP emission system flow during non-purge, meaning when the purge valve is closed. So what we have is a normally closed purge valve and a normally open vent. The only time we close the vent is when we're doing EVAP leak testing, okay? so. Um, that's the, the system, and then when we turn the purge valve on, the vent is open unless we're doing leak tech, uh, checks, but the purge valve is open. It's pulse width modulated to control the flow of fuel from the canister into the engine. If the purge valve stuck open, there'll be times the engine's going to run rich, and that would be mainly after filling the tank on the first startup. Other times, most of the other times, we're going to have a very large vacuum leak right once the canister is depleted of fuel purge valve stuck open we draw a whole bunch of fresh air through there it's a vacuum leak and that's really what we're looking at here with these codes let me just set up this data display for us uh, what we want to pay attention to we'll look at our fuel trims of course o2s but what we want to pay attention to is our fuel tank pressure you know when we first start this that purge valve is going to turn on um, we really want to be maybe in a bi-directional test where I can turn it off. Yeah, I need, I do need to be there because on startup, it's going to turn that purge valve on. So we'll go functional tests, output controls, purge solenoid valve. All right, that should work. And what I want to do is change this to zero. I want no purging taking place. Hopefully this lets me do it with the engine running. Really what I want to do is close the vent and close the purge valve and watch tank pressure. The problem with that is I'm gonna be purging when I start it, so I need to turn that off. I can't turn the vent and energize the vent at the same time. Let me just see what this does. Oh yeah, I mean, right off the bat, we're, we're showing a minus two idling horribly. We're showing a minus two, uh, minus three on inches of water column uh, on the tank pressure sensor. That's with no purge at all. You see my short-term, long-term trims. Raise the RPM. This is classic vacuum leak. If I raise my RPM, I feel a, I feel a misfire too. Uh, but my RPM, where, where's it at? 2,500. You see we're down to 17 on the long term. Uh, short term's at a, uh, roughly 10, 15. So that'll count up. Long term will count up as short term's coming down. So right now, total trim, add the two together, about 29, maybe 30. Right there is about 28. And then idle. We're at 34 long term, roughly 10 ish on the short term. So we're talking 45 total trim. So the point is when you see an improvement at higher RPMs in your trims, uh, our cause of our lean condition primarily, we're looking for vacuum leaks. In this case, I believe we have a tank 
uh, a, a purge valve that's stuck open, as I mentioned before, but that's a vacuum leak. A stuck open purge valve would be a vacuum leak. And we can see that our tank pressure sensor, um, the um, value in that is negative. It shouldn't be with, without any purge uh, flow taking place, it shouldn't be. And, and let me raise the this too, let me open it. Look, 100% open. There was no change. There's no change at all, which to me is confirmation, right? We're stuck. We're stuck open, stuck open purge. No change in the tank pressure. All right, let's go under the hood. Okay, purge valve. It's right here. Nice, right out in the open for us. Right now, scan tool is still commanding zero. So when I take this off right here, I shouldn't have any vacuum on this line. Listen to it. It's stuck open right now. Let me get my mic there. Electrically, scan tool is commanding it off. You can also see with this line off that my tank inches of uh, H2O, inches of water column, it's a very sensitive measurement, uh, is now zero. Um, the other thing you want to make sure on these is electrically that we're not shorted to ground or something like that, keeping this energized all the time. So I'm going to electrically unplug it if I can. Oh, I just unstuck it. Vibrations, I just unstuck it. That's why the engine stalled. That sucks. Watch the trims now when I start this back up with that close. Watch the trims. Short term is going to be way, way negative. Yeah, look at my short term. Minus 15, minus 17, minus 19, minus 21. Bam, right there. That's a fix. You see that when you see minus 24, say on short term and positive 24 long term, that's a fix. This fuel trim countering um, is, is a huge piece. If you guys don't understand short term and long term fuel trim, I have some lessons on that right here on YouTube and in particular on my website, scannerdanner.com. We have uh, over 600 videos, 500 hours of training at least. Um, all the stuff that I recorded over the 18 years of teaching at Rosedale Tech is there. Fuel trim is, is critical in understanding it. Um, that's what we're looking at here. 100% those codes are related to a stuck open purge. You see the numbers balancing out. You see the long term coming down. Now let's see if I can make the purge valve stick again. I'm going to command it on. You hear it pulsing now as before it was not. Let's go. That's full open. The trim's getting messed up again. Now I'm going to turn it back off. Yeah, like I unstuck it by trying to get the electrical connection off and then just wiggling it. What I wanted to do was smack on it and show you guys that, but I was gonna do that after the electrical part was unplugged so I could prove to you it wasn't an electrical issue. Let's just see if I can make it stick again. Leave it open. Close it. Nice, it is stuck again. Look. Okay, listen, listen. Now I had it commanded at zero. I don't know why it started pulsing. It's at 10%, so it's not listening to me. That's zero. and it's working fine. There's 10. That's 100%. Yeah. All right, good enough. Stuck open purge valve. Sometimes the codes are very helpful. Um, in this case, having a purge happening during non-purge, the computer recognized that. It's right away you're thinking purge valve. The only other thing I would suggest for you guys, because it is possible, uh, but 
would be to get it to where it's stuck open, unplug the electrical connection and just make sure electrically that we're not keeping that valve open, uh, which is uncommon um, to have an electrical issue do that. But it's probably a ground side switch circuit, so a wire shorted to ground would energize the valve all the time, in which case on these very smart systems you have circuit faults. You're gonna have circuit high, circuit low codes, uh, associated with the purge valve in that case. Um, but yeah, this is just a classic stuck open purge valve. And you see our trim numbers now that I've let this run long enough. I'm gonna plug this, this back in. Yeah, we have a three and minus three. So this is gonna zero out completely. And uh, our mass airflow code uh, was caused by that vacuum leak. Air entering the engine, not being measured by the MAF our 171 code from the vacuum leak and our purge during non-purge code all related to that nice quick and easy one man i, I hope you guys learned learned something from that symptom wise what to look for in that case a lot of these what you'll have as soon as you fill the tank the car's not going to start it literally will flood the engine out after filling the tank and uh, i've actually bailed someone out at a gas station before I, I watched them get back in their car and it's crank, 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 crank. It was a Ford, common on Ford, stuck open purges. And um, I was like, you know, how often does this happen? The guy's like, oh yeah, every time I fill the tank. And I was like, open your hood. Went right to the purge valve. It was stuck open, smacked on it uh, and got him going. And uh, yeah, those, th those are your symptoms with stuck open purges as well as idle issues stalling issues when it unsticks um fuel trim codes all the stuff that we saw here on this one so yeah nice quick and dirty one thanks guys see you next time